Hi, this is Julie with Vita Halik, and in this video, I'm going to teach you how to make the Serendipity Bracelet Kits. Now, these are stretch bracelets, and you can see there's some different colors for them. And each bracelet kit actually allows you to make 12 stretch bracelets. And so if you see this one here, you can see that we've got some with these fun uh, cube-shaped beads, and we've got seed beads, and we have some rounds and some other really fun beads. So it's really like a bead party, and you get to mix and match. In this video, I'm gonna show you one option for how to make your bracelets, but definitely feel free to do whatever you would like. So let me just show you the different colors. I'm gonna pick each one up, and then I'll show you what you actually get in each kit. I love this turquoise one, it's so fresh. You see it's got that nice shine to it. And finally this pink one as well. So we have a pink, a coral, we have a turquoise and a purple. So those are the sets. Now the one I'm gonna make in the video is the coral. So I'm gonna pull this one back and I'm gonna show you what you actually get in each kit. So each kit is gonna come with everything you see here. So we've got Opalon. Now this is going to be the base of our bracelet. It is a stretch fiber and you're going to get the whole spool right here. You're going to get what's called a big eye needle. Now I'm going to hold this up and show you what a big eye needle does. So a big eye needle is exactly what it sounds like and can sometimes be a little tricky to get that open. But if you see, we can actually open up the needle and we have a nice big loop. Now we're going to also get some E6000 to secure our knots. And then you're going to get all of these different beads, of course, in the colorway that you choose. And then in terms of the tools that you're going to need, we do provide the needle for you, but what you'll need to provide is a really basic pair of scissors. And then you're also going to need something to put on the end of your um, stretch cord. I'm gonna use a bead stopper that I have for other beading projects, but a piece of tape would work as well if you don't have that. Okay, so we're gonna make this coral one and what we're going to start with, let me just first pull this apart for you so you can see all the different bracelets. Okay, so let's put this right up here. So we're gonna to need to figure out how long we need each bracelet to be. So to do that, I actually have a measuring tape. So I like a measuring tape for this because it goes around my wrist. So what you can do is you could take it, you can put it around your wrist and do it kind of loose kind of get that number that you would like to be able to pull on and off. Now stretch is, uh, stretch bracelets are stretchy, of course, so you can just pull them on and off, but you want it to feel kind of nice and loose, especially when you're going to be um, putting multiples together and stacking them. So I like seven and a half inches for me. So what I actually did, because I don't want to have to measure it each time, I made myself a little cheat. I just took a piece of paper and I measured out seven and a half inches on it and I cut it. So now I have a little guide. So I'm gonna use that guide each time I make a bracelet. So first off, let's start with our stretch cord. Now, if you have a seven and a half inch bracelet, you're obviously gonna need more stretch cord than that. So what I find works is just do double. So I'm gonna take my stretch cord, I'm going to line it up, and then I'm gonna do it one more time. And then I'm gonna cut it. I just find that easier. I don't have to measure each time. I'm gonna take my little bead stopper. And again, if you just have tape, that will work as well. And I'm gonna place it maybe three inches from the end of the cord. Okay, so now I need to put my needle on the other cord. So again, we just open it up. like so, and now we're gonna slip the end through. And now it's caught it, which is really nice. So what bracelet do you start with? So let's look at this again. We've got 12 bracelets that we can make. So what I like to start with is, if you notice here, let's take out the ones with some of the bigger beads and let's just look at the strictly seed bead ones. Okay, so for this kit, the way I've done it, and again, you can do whatever you wanna do. I have some stretch bracelets, well, one that's just pure of like the metallic bead. So I don't have to worry about that one. I'll do that one in a little bit. But 
I have a couple that are solid color because if you look here, when you get all of these beads in the main color that's going to form the foundation of your bracelet set, you have a mix. So there are a couple different colors in here and they're all really pretty. But what you can do is you can actually take out and do solid color bracelets. And then I did a solid color for two. And then I did color blocking where I did two different colors. And then I just did mixes. So what I would recommend doing is starting with whatever solid color ones you want to do first, because every bracelet uh, kit is gonna get an assortment of colors. And the color, the actual number of beads per color will vary because it's just an assortment and that's how that works. So if there, if you want like this pretty kind of darker color or this really nice matte lighter coral, make your solid color bracelets first. So the way you're going to do this, let me take this, is you are going to pick your color. Now I'm gonna do the matte one again and you're just gonna literally pick up a bead, put it on the tip of your needle and slide it down so it just stops at your bead stop or your piece of tape. And so you're just gonna keep doing that. You're just going to pick up and I don't do one at a time. I just did one at a time to show you how it was gonna slide down. But basically you just keep picking it up bead after bead after bead. And I'm doing a solid color here. Okay, so if you look, this is what I've got now. Got all these beads on my needle. And then I'm just going to take them and slide them all down. So they rest right on the end right there. And I'm just gonna keep doing that until I have beaded seven and a half inches. As you can see, we've gone ahead and we've beaded the seven and a half inches. And we know that because it's the length of our guide. Now what we need to do is we need to secure this into a bracelet. So we're gonna go ahead and take off our bead stop or a piece of tape, whatever you're using. And you're also gonna take off your big eye needle. And we're gonna tie a knot. So with stretch cord, it's stretchy, obviously. So you don't want to stretch it out at this point. You want it to be nice and loose and just feeling like a normal fiber cord. Now you're going to go ahead and make a crisscross and loop it under. So you're gonna be tying a knot. So you're gonna pull that knot down so that your beads come together in a nice loop, but you're not gonna pull tight. Okay, and then we're gonna crisscross over again, pull it through, and then over under again. So we have that nice knot. And now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna pull it down you can see right here, we have that knot and I'm gonna pull it a little bit tight, but not that tight. I still want a lot of it to kind of feel loose and like soft and a little bit not, I guess soft is the right word. I want it to feel like it's gonna just drape on your hand. Okay, so now that we've got that, we have that knot in the middle and we have the two ends. I want you to go ahead and you're gonna take your big eye needle again. You're gonna open it up you're gonna re-thread one of the ends on. And now you're gonna go back through two beads next to the knot. Okay, and you're gonna pull it through. Okay, you're gonna take that needle off of that end and now you're gonna go to the other end and you're gonna do the same thing. And what we're doing is we're securing our knot. And in the last step of the process, we're gonna go and add some glue to the knot and we're gonna pull the knot a little bit tighter, but we're not gonna do that right now. We're gonna do that at the end. Okay, so go ahead. Again, two beads on the other side and pull through. Okay, so now what you have is you have that knot in the middle You got the knot in the middle and you've got the thread going through two beads on each side. And you're gonna do this for every bracelet. So that is how you make a solid color stretch bracelet. And we know that's not finished yet. That is an end step. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna make other ones in the same fashion. So for color blocking, let me pull out the color block one. 
So what I did is you, I just picked a number of beads and tried to do an even amount. So if you look here, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So I did 15 beads of each color. And then when I got to the end, maybe I needed to add a few more beads to make it seven and a half inches or take away a few beads. And everybody's bracelet size is gonna vary a little bit, but it was the same process. So I did my solid color ones first. So I have two that are a solid color. Then I did my color blocking just to make sure I had enough beads. And then after that, I just did my randoms. So that takes care of six of your 12 bracelets for this kit. And actually you have enough beads, you can probably make even more than 12. Um, I just thought 12 was a really nice number. So let me put these back. And then it was the same process that you saw for making the solid one. So you get these really pretty beads that have a metallic uh, center as either gold or silver, depending upon which kit you're choosing. And so I just did a solid color one just because it's so nice and shiny. And then for putting these on your wrist, they just slide over. So you can just see that they slide over very easily, which actually makes these a really great gift as well. So I'm gonna put that back in my finished pile as well. So these are the bracelets here that are something a little bit more than just the seed beads. So let's look at what we have. So on this one here, actually, let me do this one here. There are these really pretty cube beads. And you can see that we just did a solid round of them. So there's no other beads mixed in. And for that, you would just do the same thing where you get your cord and then you go ahead and um, string on seven and a half inches and then you tie your knots. Now I'm gonna do this one here in the video as well to show you another example. So this one has a mix of the seed beads and it's got these really pretty rondelles and then it has these really pretty rounds. So let's go ahead and make this one together as well. So we're gonna take back our little guide and we're gonna take our stretch cord. And again, we're just going to do one length, two length, and that's gonna be enough. We're gonna cut it, take our little stopper, like so, put it on the end, like about three inches from the end. Open up our big eye needle, slide on our cord and pull it down in a couple inches. And now for this one, if we look at it, you see that pattern. So let's count the seed beads in between and you'll get written instructions with this as well. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. So, and it's a solid color. You can choose whatever solid color you want. I did that matte again, because I really like it. I like the matte coral. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. So I've got 10 on my needle. Remember that bead stop, or if you have tape, is on the bottom already. Okay, so I slid those down. Now I'm gonna pick up one rondelle, one round, one rondelle. So I've got that on my needle as well. Slide it on down. So they're just sitting there together now. And now I'm gonna pick up 10 more of the mat. So there's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, slide it on down. And you're seeing we're really just building this bracelet. And then another rondelle, another round, and another rondelle. And you're just gonna do that on repeat until you've done your seven and a half inches. Now that I've beaded the full seven and a half inches of this bracelet design, I'm ready to do the same way of finishing it as the last one. And each bracelet, you do have 12 of them you're gonna make, you're gonna finish the exact same way. So what I'm gonna do is I've got all my beads on there. I'm gonna kind of scoot them down a little bit, take my cords, or my cord I should say, cause there's just one, go ahead 
tie a little overhand knot, and then do a double. So I went through once, and I'm going through again, and I'm just going to pull down and pull it so that it's got a nice knot on there, but it's not so tight that it's pulling the elastic too much. And then we're going to go back and do the same thing again. We're going to take our needle, open it up for that nice, convenient big eye. I love big eye needles. We're going to string that on, go through. Now with this case, if it's a big bead, I do like to just go through one bead. So I'm just going to go through one bead. And then since seed beads are on the other side, I will go through two. So I put that back on, that needle back on, and I'm going to go through that second one. So now again, this is what we have. We have that knot. It's not terribly tight right now, so you can see it just in there, and then it's coming out the beads next to it. And that just gives a little extra measure of safety. So looking at the remaining bracelets, and I'm going to review all of them at the end of the video, but we have another one that's got these fun cube beads and then some rounds. And then we have this one, which has the nice little metallic seed beads with some rondelles between it. And then we have this one, which is a cube seed bead combo. So I'm going to do one more bracelet for you here on camera, and that will be three of the 12, but I'm going to again recap for you all of them here at the end of the video. Okay, here we go. I did double the length. So since my bracelet is 7.5 inches total beaded, I cut off 15 inches of cord put my little stopper at the bottom. Again, you can just use tape. Okay, I'm putting on my big eye needle. Okay, and in this case, here's our little model. We're gonna be doing eight cubes and then three rounds. So eight cubes and then three rounds. And these cubes in this particular selection um, are a little bit assorted too. And to me, I just am putting them on ran randomly. So there's four, five, six, seven, and then one more will make eight. Put those down at the bottom again. Three of your rounds. Then eight more. One, two, three. Where's three, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And you can see this one comes together really quickly. Three rounds. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Put that down, three more rounds. put that down and here's another eight and you definitely mix and match have fun with this don't worry about following what I did these give you a good guideline um, but it's really about having fun with the beads and playing with patterns so you can really do whatever you want so there's three more rounds and then let's see with our little guide how we're doing on sizing That looks good. It might be actually a little bit big. So if you look here, we seem to be going a little bit further than our size. An easy way to fix that is to just take off a bead on the end. I wouldn't take off one of your pretty big beads. I would just take off one of the little cubes. And you're gonna be doing that with all your bracelets. So you might have a bracelet that's seven inches of bead, it's, or you might have one that's eight. So just adjust accordingly. You do have plenty of beads. So again, crisscross, go over. Make that little knot. Well, it's the start of a knot, and then we're gonna do a double. One, go through again, two, and pull down. And because you have big beads on both sides, what we're going to do is just go through one bead. So whenever it's a big bead, just go through one. Okay, go through.
Okay, and pull it off and do the other one. Okay, go. And you'll be opening up that big eye needle a lot and just putting it back on. So now you've got it coming out the ends. So there we go. So we've done three here in this video. So we've done this one here, this one here, and this one here. So I'm gonna show you now the final step of the process to finishing your bracelets. And then, like I said, I do wanna review each bracelet in the set so you'll know exactly how you have one option of making them. So what we wanna do is we've tied our knots and they are nice, they're, they're good and secure, but we wanna do a little added measure of security here. And to do that, I just have a little scrap piece of paper and I have a toothpick. You can use a piece of wire if you would prefer. And we have our E6000 glue. So E6000 glue is great because it has a little point on the interior of the outside of the cap and you see it's sealed. So you just go ahead and you flip the cap over and you puncture that seal and it opens it up. And we're gonna put a little bit of glue down on our scrap piece of paper. And we're gonna take our toothpick and we're gonna take this, and I like to hold it like this. So you see how I'm holding this? I'm holding the two strands and I'm pulling them out and I'm exposing my little knot. And I'm just gonna put a little bit of glue on that knot. And I like to also put a little bit of glue right on the ends here. All right, so we've done that. And now what I do, remember I said, don't pull your knot too tight. And I still am not gonna pull it too tight, but what I am gonna do is I'm gonna give it a good tug. There we go. And what that does is it helps to get that glue to really seep into the knot and even the beads right next to it. And that's gonna help secure your opalon. And again, I have not pulled this bracelet so tight that it's rigid or crinking at all, or crinkling, I should say. All right, so there's one. And sometimes that little knot can slip into the beads, which is great, and sometimes it doesn't. It's more important that you have a secure, nice knot, even if you see it a little bit. So on this one, remember that knot was between the two big beads right here? So we're just going to expose that, and it's a little trickier with the big beads, so I am going to just go ahead, put it right on there. All right, and on this one, I'm not gonna worry about putting it on the ends because I put enough right there that it's going to seep into it. So go ahead, pull, and there you go. That's number two. And let's just go ahead and do number three so you see that one more time. Okay, so on this one, I'm gonna hold it between my fingers and I am going to put that glue on there. Put some glue right there. And it does dry quickly, so you don't wanna to put too much glue at once. I would probably not do any more than three bracelets with the same pile of glue. Okay, so here we are. Go ahead and pull it, just like that. And you see, you do see a little knot, that's okay. Don't worry about it. I really want these to be secure and have that knot there, even if you can see it just a little. You won't see it when all the bracelets are together. So what you would do is you'd let those dry. I would actually recommend letting them dry overnight. Let that get a, a good dry um, out of it. So just so that you know it's secure. I am not gonna do that for this video. I'm gonna show you quickly how to trim the tails. I'm only gonna do it on one of them because I do want the other two to dry, but I, I wanna show you the complete process. So let's go ahead and trim the tail of this one. And I'm gonna put these guys aside right now. I've cleared a little space and now I wanna show you how to trim your tail. So this is the final step of the process. So you've got that bracelet right here and you've got the tail sticking out the beads. Now it's nice that the tails are sticking out the beads because then you don't ever have to trim too close to your knot. So you're just gonna put your scissor right here next to the bead and trim. And then you're gonna go the other side. You're gonna pull that cord out just a little bit so you see it and you're going to trim. And that is how you'll trim all your different tails. And then you've got your bracelet. And you see it's got nice stretch to it. And just make sure you do let that glue dry first for a while. I would say 24 hours. It will give you a much more secure bracelet. 